Good evening, you guys. I am Infinite Child, and before the night ends, I have to give you this word. Amen. You guys, I hope you are safe, and happy Friday to all of you. And I know you guys are enjoying or starting your week, and always on a Friday for some people anyway. Most people, I should say. But I have to give you this word. This word is for somebody, for someone, and it is for me as well. You guys, I hope you are seeking uh, Christ and seek, seek His face. Amen very very important that we abide in christ and that we stay faithful to the end any and everything that you need is in christ amen and he's here for us you know not only the bible is a historical um transcript but god is still the same he's still the same for the people back when and even now He's still the same. He will never change. Amen. Which is great because us us people, we, we constantly change, you know, all the time. But God, he is faithful. He's always faithful. And so tonight, I just really quickly just want to speak about compassion. How, how compassionate God is and merciful the Lord is to us. Glory be to God. If, if God was not so, and if it were not so, he would tell us, right? But if he was not, all of us would be in trouble. <laughs> all of us would be in trouble. However, um, you guys, really quickly, you know, just want to encourage us and, and give insight on what the Lord is telling us. Amen. You know, sometimes we often pray. Well, we should often pray for our family loved ones, friends, etc. You know, people who are in need, you know, uh, anyone, a stranger, any person, you know, if it's on your heart, if you meet someone and you just feel led to pray for someone and even just knowing that someone's passing and if, you, if it's on your heart to pray for someone, do it, do it. Because that feeling is there for a reason. And so just do it. You know, we're supposed to pray for, you know, every person, even for ourselves. Amen. But some of our prayers, as we know, should be ex exclusive, you know, um, meaning to be need to be exclusively for God. And in Psalms, one uh, chapter one, zero three, verse eight. Um, verse 8 and 11 and 12 says the Lord is compassionate and gracious slow to anger abounding in love so David praises God right because he does not remain angry forever glory be to God again you know if, if, if it were not so we're all all of us would be in trouble and you know he, he's not he, he he God does not hold any uh carry any grudges or anything like that you know of course you know he chastises us of course you know we have conviction with 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 some things you know and, and you know the lord tries to correct us but his anger does not last his anger does not last forever you know he's slow to anger and so shall we be as well and he does not punish us uh he, Plainly, you know, you, there are consequences, con consequences to you know things that we do, right? And some deserved. Sometimes, some, some, not, not so much, right? But God's love, and some things. Now, don't get me wrong. Some things don't come from the Lord. You know, some some things are just not from the Lord. It's from completely from the enemy. Okay, so let's discern the differences. But God's love is great as as great, you know, it's it's vast, it's amazing, you know, as as vast. I, I, I can't even articulate the love, you know, how much love God has for us and how and how awesome it is. And you know, God created the heavens and the earth, right? So, of course, you know, not only that he blesses us, but blessings for us to enjoy, you know, not just in heaven, but here on earth. 
here on earth. And so, of course, God loves us so much. And, and I don't think every individual or all of us, I don't even think we can, you know, come to a, a conclusion or any assumption how much God loves us. You know, even fathom how much God loves us, right? Because in the beginning, he created, you know, the Garden of, of Eden, right? Beautiful. Read this in Genesis. Beautiful. You know, that's uh, he loved us so much that he gave us everything in the Garden of Eden. Everything. I mean, living royalty, right? You know, as kings and priests. Amen. And even now, still, you know, we, we can have that heaven here on earth, right? And so God's love is grand. It's, it's more than we can ever imagine you know he loves us more than our own parents he loves us more than our own children he loves us more than our own spouse you know so we can't compare God's love to anything or anyone you know that's just how awesome God is and here God removes our sins from us so that we don't need to dwell on them any, any longer and you know sometimes you know you're human you know we can revisit some situations, you know, or, you know, any fleeting thoughts or what, what have you. But we shouldn't be consumed with that because God has already removed that from us. He's already cleansed us by his word. His word cleanses us, right? And we have to accept that and, and believe that wholeheartedly, you know. So we don't have to beat ourselves up over the, the mistakes that we've made because God forgave us for that, you know. And we don't need to dwell on that. We don't need to dwell on that. And, and when those uh, feelings or thoughts come about, you know, we quickly bind that in Jesus' name. We cast that down. Because that's just the enemy trying to remind us of, of who we used to be or, you know, the mistakes we've made. But no longer we need to dwell on that. And, and David, the psalmist, you know, expresses his gratitude, admiration for God's greatness, you know, for, for all that God is, right? Who David, what David saw in God, who God is to David or was to David, amen? And so, as like David, you know, we, we you know, we can... Um, it could be an example for us, you know, we, we spend, you know, our time expressing uh, gratitude to God and how much and, and just, you know, uh, consuming ourselves with how much God loves, loves us, you know, as, as his children. And, you know, we spend a lot of time in prayer, you know, uh, we spend a lot of time in prayer and just showing gratitude and, and just being thankful, you know, gratitude, thankful for what God has done for us and what God is doing for us, you know, and that he's our provider, you know, and God loves never, ever, ever wavers, you know, he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore, amen, and so, you know, we don't need to dwell on the old things, and again, you know, we sometimes revisit, revisit, or, you know, have those memories, but that's your past, that's your past, and so, you know, God is in your future. You move forward, you know, and that's what matters. Not anything else matters. Not anything else matters. What God says and, you know, what he tells us to do and his promises to us and our inheritance and who we are in Christ. Amen. And so it's very, very, very important to, you know, uh, understand, to understand who God is. God is a person. The word is made flesh. Jesus, you know, this is real life. It's it's not a fairy tale. It's not make believe. It's not made up. You know, um, this is real. God is a person. And he gave his only begotten son. You know, so, uh, you know, Jesus is the example, is the example. You know that we should walk out here on earth, and everything. You know, and all the benefits to that. You know all the benefits amen and so you know uh anything that you may be going through you know don't dwell on 
the past things, you know. You know, God says, you know, forget the formal things. Your latter shall be greater than your your latter days shall be greater than your formal. And God has a plan for each and every one of us, and his thoughts for us are good. Are good. You know, when God created the earth, you know, he said, he looked at it and said, Good. It's good, right? And so that's supposed to be for our lives as well, you know? Good. And God is an awesome God, you know, and he's always, always, always pouring out his love and showing us love, you know, even when you didn't see it or even sometimes when you when you think you didn't feel it. God's always there. He was always there. You know, sometimes, you know, I think back, you know, growing up and even now that all that time God was there. He was there. The good and the bad. Amen. And so we all should be grateful. And, you know, he deserves our praise and worship because he's a good God. He's a good God. And he takes care of us. He takes care of us. And that's something that, you know, we should understand. And, and still, again, you know, continuously learning. There's always something new to learn every day about God. Amen. And to remember his words and what he says to you. And the things that he spoke to you and want you to do. Amen. Because no one else can do it. He chose you. He chose you. We didn't choose him. He chose us. Amen. And so we are separate. We are not of this world. We live in it. But we are not of it. Amen. And so we have to walk a different walk. And we have to talk a different talk. You know. It's completely different for, from, for us. And you know. Jesus said they would know, people would know that you are my disciples if you love one another, you know. And again, that's a, one of many things that separate us, loving each other, loving one another, our neighbors, you know. And so there's a lot to learn, you guys. And, of course, you know, take some time out and, you know, read, read, read. And, 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 and just learning is, is repetitive, you know, and it, it's a choice. It's a choice. And not just a choice, you guys. It's the desire. It's the desire. And God knows when we desire him as much as he desires us. Because God does not want anyone to perish. He does not want anyone to perish. But unfortunately, you know, there are some people that don't believe who are not believers you know but according to you according to me seek God we believe we trust him we stand faithful we trust him with everything we are his dependents amen and he takes care of us regardless of everything that goes on in this world we are separated. And so, again, much understanding, much understanding that we need to know who God is and to learn. There's a lot. There's a lot. And so I do encourage you guys to take the time out and to learn about yourself, who you are in Christ, and who God is to you. Amen. You guys, I hope this word resonates with you. I hope this word blesses you. I hope this word meets you where you are. And again, be safe. Enjoy your, your night. Enjoy your weekend. Amen. And please practice cleanliness in your household and in your workspace. But again, we should not fret because that is not our portion. So we are okay. God has us. Amen. You guys, seek the word of God. Abide in Christ, and he will abide in us. He will. And again, a desire. We desire. Our desire. God knows our heart. He knows who's faking and shaking. Amen. So you guys, we will talk soon. Have a wonderful night. I'll check in with you later. I love you all with the love of Christ. We'll talk soon. Peace.